She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. So if you start moving funny, she's moving on. What's up, my friend? I love sisters, Fina D, coming to you all from Vina Tima News. She's an icon. She's a legend, and she is the moment. Phaedra Parks had a recent interview, and she called Kenya Moore and Portia Williams possibly coming back on the show together instead of, you know, being against each other. Interesting. She did not completely shut down if there's a possibility of her being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta now that Candy is no longer there or going back to Mary to Medicine. Now, the reason why I'm saying this part is because I'm going to insert the clip from Phaedra interview. But just in case Entertainment Tonight comes back and strike my channel for copyright infringement for using their video, I can then either mute the video or remove it without completely deleting this video because I'm telling you what Phaedra said in the interview. But let's get to what she said in her own words. Your first season on Married to Medicine, what was the takeaway for you from that crew? What they are really very different from the housewives because they're professional women, but they have really strong relationships and true friendships. So it was a good time, and we actually started taping two days ago. Okay, yes. so we're back for more. We're back for more. Okay, so that puts rumors to rest that you might snatch your peach back up. Um, I don't know if that puts all the rumors to rest, you know, because I'm a multi faceted type of girl. <laughs> Well, we know the network loves you, so having you on more than one show is probably a good thing. What do you make of Portia's return? People want a frickin' frack reunion. Oh, I love Portia, and, you know, we've been talking. And, you know, uh, hopefully we can work something out. But, you know, Portia's my girl, so I'm really excited for her. What do you think of them kind of recentering around the duo that is Portia and Kenya for this next chapter? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, but we'll see how that works. We'll see. I mean, it's, you know, it's interesting. A lot of people did think that a certain someone announcing her exit from the show would mean you could finally walk back through that door. I never think anything's based on a certain person. Girl, stop it. Stop it. Because if you had any pull or power, you would have been there. You were fired and did not come back because of Candy burst okay candy is no longer there so now there's a possibility the network was never going to choose you over candy so stop this whole i don't think is one person you didn't have no options because if you did you would have been back on that show because you've been desperate hopping from reality show to reality show and different shows on the side just to keep your name out there. So don't sit over here in front and behave like Candy doesn't have any pole. Yes, you were not invited back because of what you did. That disgusting lies you told on Candy. And had zero remorse. And I get it. As an attorney, if you admit to something that disgusting and then you apologize, then it could lead to a lot of hot mess as it relates to your career. So she lied but stop pretending and i find it so interesting that when it comes to her they can say a certain someone however whenever it comes to candy they just with so much conviction say her name in the interview you know and candy have to be like okay i'm gonna need y'all to move on or like shut it down or sometimes she might entertain it and answer the question but they be like so I heard Phaedra, no consideration that this woman eyes that she told on Candy that could have ended Candy's entire career is still triggering to Candy, even though Candy has done her best to move forward and all of that, but it still brings back those memories and all of that. And majority of the interviewers I have seen, they always say Phaedra. Maybe during his interviews, with Candy, he doesn't say Phaedra name either. I'm just talking about in general, most of them say Phaedra name and don't have no consideration for Candy. 
So hopefully going forward, if someone ever attempt to bring her up, they will say a certain someone and not continue to put Candy in awkward situation, constantly asking her about this lady who to this day have absolutely no remorse for that situation. And I already explained, of course, why she's never going to have remorse or admit to it because then it's going to mess up whatever she got going on. But let's continue. Um, I think the door has always been somewhat open. I mean, but I want to do what's best for me and my family. And so, you know, it's got to be the right opportunity and it's got to be with the right castmates. Once again, the doors were only somewhat open if Candy wasn't still standing by those doors, okay? If Candy was there, there's no door as it relates to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And that's why the network keeps bouncing around everywhere else trying to make something happen. And everyone got to witness what a huge disappointment you were on Married to Medicine. It was terrible. People were disappointed. You did not show up and show out. You betrayed Quad. It was just a hot mess. All the people that were cheering for you and couldn't wait for you, you were disappointed. Now I understand. I did this on the Real Housewife of Atlanta, so I want to show a different side. I don't want to come off too aggressive. I don't want to come off as being a backstabber, but you did because you backstabbed Quad, and you all have seen all of the videos I've done on it. I do not have to insert no clips in here, but if you are new here and you missed those videos, just go to the Married to Medicine playlist on this channel and you can catch up and watch those videos. She completely switched up and turned her back on Quad when she felt like, okay, the group over here, they are not messing with Quad and I'm not about to be loyal to someone that could also possibly turn on me when I have a family to feed. I'm brand new over here and I'm getting to know everybody. So I'm not about to burn all of these bridges just for you, Quad. So whatever that's going on, I'm going to be over here. And so in a way, even though Quad is not a scent, it still looked like some backstabbing went on. But my whole point is she wasn't successful on Married to Medicine, but I get it. It was her first season and she was trying to get to know and understand everybody. So then if she comes back, she would then move accordingly. We shall see. If Married to Medicine is the choice, hopefully the facial parks that her supporters been cheering for to come back, hopefully they will see that facial parks. But I've been saying it for years. The only reason why she became that facial parks is because she was coming for Kenya Moore. It's because Kenya Moore was in the mix. When you don't have one of the key ingredients for that dish, that dish will never be the same. It will never taste the same. You cannot recreate that. So anyways, good luck on that quest. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. And please do not forget to continue to click the links in the description below to support me outside of just doing these videos. The link to subscribe to my YouTube members only is also listed in there. And also the link to visit the boutique website to make purchases of merch and other items that I do sell is listed in the description below. I wish you all of you well and take care. My loves, thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.